Hello all you pretty people. I hope you are doing good. And during these hot times, you are taking care of yourself and your family as well. So here I am again today with another video of mine stating some differences and similarities between electrical and electronics. A lot of times I have seen people getting confused between the two topics. They don't know how they are related to each other and how they are different from each other. To be frank, there are a lot of differences between the two and no, they are not the same. They can be interrelated but definitely not the same. So how these topics are different, that's what I'm going to show you. But before that, let's see that what is the most important difference between electrical and electronics. As you can see on the slide, electrical is nothing but a study of electricity. On the other hand, electronics is a study of electrons. Not protons, neither neutrons, only the study of electrons. So this is the most important point that we should remember. Electrical is a study of electricity, whereas electronics is related to electrons. Now that we know the most important difference between the two, let us cover some other areas of interest with respect to electrical and electronics. To make things easy for you, I have divided these differences in the form of a table with respect to the area of content. So the first area being the name. As you can see in both electrical and electronics, I have highlighted a part of the word. L means a Latin suffix for the or anything that's related to electric or electricity. Whereas a couple of minutes ago only, I told you that electronics is a study of electrons. So that is why the highlighted portion is there to tell you the main difference between them. Now let us come on the other difference which is based on their definition. For electrical devices, it is defined as something that generates, distributes, stores and converts electrical energy into various other forms of energy like heat energy, light energy, etc. It can be any type of energy. Whereas electronics, it is used for designing, amplifying and switching the same electrical energy with the help of certain electrical equipments and it is converted into something useful. Now what are these electrical uh, equipments and to what thing is it converted? We will cover all this in detail in the coming videos. Next area is the working principle for electrical and electronics. For electrical devices, we say that they produce the voltage and current, whereas electronic devices control the flow of current. So that is to be remembered. Apart from this, we can also say that the materials used in electrical devices can be copper or aluminium or any uh, materials that conduct current, whereas electronic devices are something like semiconductor devices, for example, silicon, germanium, etc. Let's come to the type of these devices. By the meaning of type, I mean which type of current passes through electrical and electronic devices. Electrical devices use alternating current or high current whereas electronic devices use direct current. Direct current is not that high when compared to alternating current, but of course, it is pretty high. So I would recommend not to play around with the current. Next comes the components used in electrical and electronics devices. Electrical devices uses passive components like 
resistors, inductors, capacitors, whereas electronic devices uses active components like diodes and transistors. These type of devices, the diodes, transistors or active components as I may say, work on low voltage whereas the passive components require high voltage. Along with it, I can say that the electrical devices require more power consumption whereas electronic devices requires very less power consumption. Because of that, if you will see here the size also, it tells the same story. Electrical devices are pretty big and they need a lot of space whereas electronic devices are pretty handy and they require less amount of space. Being an era of nanotechnology and microtechnology, I think electronic devices do come handy in that manner. What do you have to say about it? Proceeding further, a common example of electrical devices can be motor or generator. And some examples of electronics as I have mentioned here are microcontrollers and diodes. Unfortunately, electrical devices cannot process any information. As I have given an example as well, be it a motor or a generator or an LED, they cannot switch on and off on their own. Physically, someone has to switch it on and off, whereas electronic devices know how to operate. They do have processing capabilities. Say, if we are using a mobile or a computer, we enter a command, the computer automatically programs itself and it knows what the output should be. So in that way also, electronics and electrical are different. Well, we have covered a lot of differences. Now let's just see a couple of similarities between them. Yes, similarities apart from the fact that both these terminologies start with the letter E. As I said, the electrical and electronic devices both depend on the flow of electrons. If there is no electrons, there is no electricity and without any electricity, no electronic device can work. And in both of these type of devices, the voltage transmission is done by transformers there is no other way of transmitting the voltages for them. Pretty less but still very effective similarities for electrical and electronic devices. I hope you got some idea between the two topics. For the next time, I hope to cover some more important topics related to electrical devices. Please stay tuned and take care of yourself again. See you soon.